on this episode of Jake Makes, we are going to be testing my new butane-powered flamethrower. Okay, so what is this flamethrower made of? Well, it's super simple. Here, of course, is my canister of butane. It's one of these, it's the smallest one I could find. It's just a little bitty one, so that it could fit on my arm, nice and small. And then to attach it to my arm, like this, I found a old case. I think it went to a monocular, binocular thing I had once. It broke, and I still have the case for it anyway. The butane canister slides and fits perfectly in it like this, see? And I just cut a little hole, a little slit in the top, so it can fit over this, like so. And I can shut it, and then my latex tubing here just attaches right there. But, back to this. This is an old archery arm guard and I just attached it, the case, to the arm guard with some Velcro straps and a piece of inner tube here just to hold it on there a bit better. I'm very resourceful when it comes to attaching things. I didn't resort to duct tape this time, so that's a first. And this just enables me to attach it to my wrist, my arm, really, right here, like so. So I have this little slit here so that this piece can go right through there and close it up and it's kind of contained it looks good this little plastic piece I have no clue what that is from I just found it somewhere as you can see it has a hole or you probably can't see there's a little bitty hole right in there so the butane can go through and it fits snugly onto this tubing here so that when I push on it it releases butane so, but between that and there, and then of course, just some, the, the smallest latex tubing, I, tubing, the smallest latex tubing I could find. You could probably find some smaller and it would work better, but this is what I found. And then this is a stack of washers and I think a bolt, something. Um, you know, it just looks cool and also acts to, uh, you know, get it away from the glove and kind of you know, contain the heat a bit. I should have bought a leather glove. I did not. I was feeling cheap, like usual. And I just bought, like, these Gorilla Grip gloves. It's like the cheapest possible glove you could find. I probably not su super smart of me, as it can catch on fire and everything, but, eh, safety is overrated, right? So then, let's see. Let me put it on a little bit here. So, of course, just put my hand into the glove. It's generally where your hand where your hand goes in the glove. And then my latex tubing comes in here and connects. Usually it doesn't come apart. It just came apart. I'll have to reattach it. And it attaches right in the bottom of there. So my tubing goes right here. And I made it long enough to stretch all the way down my arm. And then here, as you can see, 
This straps on like so. Let me strap it on real quick. That straps on like so, and then this goes right there and slides right over it. But before that, I got this little metal piece here. I, once again, have no clue what that is either, but I drilled a hole in it right here, and that just slides right over this, like so. And I have this string attached, which goes down, and I will then loop it around my finger so that when I, let's see, I put it on too high up. Let's move it down a little bit. And then this latex tubing goes right here. Let's move it down a little bit. And then, you, you know, I kind of have to adjust it a little bit to get it the right distance so that when I pull on this, it releases the butane. So, very, very simple. It's super easy to do or modify the design for, you know, the parts you have on hand. That's what I really like about it. It's super simple, easy to make. It did not take me very long to make. The longest thing was getting this ridiculous little thing sorted out, you know, and the string the right length and tying it all off and everything. But, you know, it's super simple to modify to fit the materials you have on hand. And it works really remarkably well for what it is. It'll shoot, you know, it'll shoot flames like a foot, foot and a half. Probably two feet, but it, a two foot flame gets a bit uncomfortable. So close to your personal self. <laughs> so I generally want to keep it down a little bit. Of course, some things you do have to be aware of. You need to be careful of keeping it on for too long. Um, if anything should go wrong, which nothing should, but when you're dealing with fire and something goes wrong, generally you're getting burned badly. So I keep the fire down pretty low, and I make sure not to let my glove heat up too much, and all that safety junk, of course. Anyway... Back to the testing. The flamethrower is also the most manly way possible to light a candle.
And of course, no video of playing with fire would be complete until I set off some gasoline. Alright guys, that's about all for this video. If you liked this project, be sure to subscribe so you can see all the other stuff I make. And if you liked this project, or if you've liked my stuff in the past, you should also go check out my website, www.jakemakes.net. Anyway, thanks for watching till the end. See you all in the next video. Jake out.